Well, hi, this is Tim Falberg, and I'm going to show you how to make a math cast, or actually a uh, pen cast right now, because I'm going to use a LiveScribe Smart Pen. So let me show you the pen that I'm going to use for this. It's this special pen right here, and it's using this special notebook here. My name is Tim and Falberg, and I'm the K-12 this. LiveScribe representative in Wisconsin, and I've longed work in the area of MathCast, and there's a link to our MathCast wiki. And I'm going to be using two tools. I've got, uh, well, actually three tools. So I'm using a Aver Media, Aver Vision CP300, and then for recording, I'm using one of my favorite tools. Uh, Jing, actually I'm using Jing Pro to make an MP4 movie. If you want to get Jing or Jing Pro, you go to jingproject.com. Okay, well, that's uh, one minute into this, and I haven't done the math cast yet, so let's get going with the math cast. I've got the special paper. I don't want the marker in my hand. I want the live scribe in my hand. So here I've got the live scribe. It's turned on. You can see it's got the time on there. I'm going to go ahead and press the record button down here, and it says... REC for recording. So now I'm going to talk through a problem. So let me move this down so you can see this. I'm going to solve a simple linear equation. I'm going to solve 2x minus 3 equals 15. Well, in order to solve this simple linear equation, we need to isolate the variable x. And in order to isolate the variable x, we're going to begin by um, undoing the thing that's kind of the farthest away from it. So let's add 3. And we have to add 3 to both sides. So by adding 3 to both sides and simplifying, let's see, the minus 3 and the plus 3 cancel. And we end up with 2x on the left equals, and then certainly 15 plus 3 is 18. Well, then now we've got 2 times x. So to undo the multiplication, we'll divide by 2 on both sides. And we'll simplify. 2 divided by 2 is 1. And we could write 1x. But if you write 1x, people will think you're a beginning algebra student. So eventually what happens, oh, and sure, you get 9 on the other side. You really want to just get in the habit of just writing x equals and then the value for x. Now we should check that. So let's do that quick like a bunny. So what we're going to do for the check is we're going to take this value of x, 9, and substitute it back in here for x. So if we do that, then we'll put 2 times 9 minus 3 and ask, is that equal to 15? Well, let's see, 2 times 9 is 18, and 18 minus 3, sure enough, cool beans, is equal to 15. So that means x equals 9 is correct. And the next thing I'm going to do in the next little video is I'm going to sync up this pen on the computer, and then uh, I'm going to upload that and share that pen cast. The final thing I need to do with the pen, though, is to uh, to stop this from recording. Is come down here and click the stop button, and then it says it stopped. Okay, now I'm ready to upload. I'm going to sync the pen and upload this pen cast, math cast. Cool. Okay, so now we're going to go into uh, part two of this. And in part two, what I'm going to do is uh, let me put the hot sink cradle on this so you can see. I'll just scoot this down so you can see the problem. What I need to do is transfer the contents of the smart pen to the computer, to the LiveScribe desktop software. So what I'm going to do is just put this on here. And now it made a noise. And if I go over to the uh, LiveScribe desktop, then you can see at the bottom there, it says, let me just scoot this down. It says transferring content from SmartPen. And it happens pretty quickly. So it's in there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over. This happens to be, I was using what's called the starter notebook, because you can use a bunch of note, notebooks or print your own with this. Um, and I'm going to just sort of search for the word solve because I know that was in there. I could also just go to the certain page, but I'm searching for solve. And uh, let's see, down, let's see. If I clear, if I take the pen out, then you can see the the uh, search here. Okay, 
So I'm searching for solve. There it goes. Now it says searching for term solve. But again, I could have just gone to, it's on page 90. Um, I could have just used down here, typed in a 90. But I just think this uh, search feature is pretty neat. So I thought I'd show you that too. So I'm just going to scroll down here. And uh, there it is. So if I click on that, and then I can zoom in and out. So if I just wanted to play the notes um, on the computer right now, I could certainly do that. And any of this that's in green is replayable. So if I were to click here, um, what happens? Let me move the microphone over the computer. I'm going to solve 2x minus 3 equals 15. OK, so you get to hear the audio and see the writing come up. And then you can get to any part of the writing by clicking on it. You can certainly pause as well. And in part three, we're going to upload and share the pen cast. So here goes. I'm going to get out of here and go to the LiveScribe desktop software. And we've got this session here. So a session has writing with audio. And what I'm going to do is click Upload Session. Asks me a question, do I want to upload this session, including all of its pages? I do. Click Yes. And then I'm going to be prompted to give this a name. So let's see, what's a good name for this? How about something to do with algebra? I know, I'll call it algebra and um, maybe just the what the problem actually is. OK, there it is. So this is an out problem from algebra. And it is um, solve 2x minus 3 equals 15. OK, and um, that's it. So I just click OK. Now it's going to upload it happens pretty quickly and each person with a livescribe pen gets a 250 megabyte uh, area to upload their pen casts or just PDFs of their documents so it says your upload is completed successfully cool so then we want to view this so we're going to go up to navigation go to the livescribe online and by the way we could do this in a browser just by going to livescribe.com and going to our area it says this file is currently private and we want to share it so let's go ahead and make this file public and now it's public so we could get a link to this file by clicking here and there's the link we could just copy and paste that um, but before we do anything more here what I should really show you is the best way to view this if you click on play there's a couple of challenges with the way it plays right here it's kind of small for one you can barely read it and the other thing is that you can see the kind of the writing is ghosted which is can be useful because that can allow you to get to any part of writing but if you want to make it larger and hide the unwritten writing then you simply click here to go full screen and then you can scrub back to the beginning but then the writing is still ghosted so then you want to click over here on the set display mode come up here click on hide preview and now when it plays back it it plays back the writing with the audio so I can scrub forward to where the problem is written and then go from there and then you can do things like zoom in if you want you can pan the image so that's kinda nice if you have students with uh, visual impairments or if you just want it larger you know certain part of it be able to move around and you see the writing now coming up kind of like magic which I think is pretty cool and you can mute it if you need to oh no that's just to hide the controller bar you can mute it just by clicking on that or just slide the volume so anyway that's uh, it for sharing at the moment there are ways to embed pen casts that are up on my uh, or up on our our wiki so thanks for uh, listening take care bye now